Hey guys, this is Courtney from the Carolina Farmhouse and we are going to do an August garden tour. So honestly, the garden's looking a little tired and so are we. It's been a lot keeping up with the garden for four or five months now with having a new baby. So some things are looking a little rough. We did figure out that the cucumber plants the powdery mildew, I didn't realize this, literally suffocates the plants. That mildew keeps them from photosynthesizing. Is that a word, Chris? <laughs> from photosynthesizing. And so they just slowly turned more and more brown. We eventually just had to pull them up. So next year, I know to get a handle on it much quicker, much sooner into the process so that they don't just die. So we've been missing out on cucumbers this month, which is sad. Our tomato plants... The yellow cherry tomatoes are looking really rough. I honestly quit watering them because I don't know why, but the tomatoes just kept splitting every time they turned yellow. So I was feeding them to the chickens and honestly just got tired of taking care of them when we weren't getting any um, tomatoes. And our heirloom tomatoes started producing a lot more tomatoes. However, they're not as big as they were last year and the plants still have those spots. So I think they do have blight. Um, Honestly, this late in the season, I'm just going to pull them up once they stop producing, dig out that soil, and make sure I stay on top of it. I ordered a copper spray that another gardener had recommended and just never got around to putting it on. So next year when I start to notice any discoloration or spots on the leaves, I will spray them as soon as I see it. There goes the biker behind me. <laughs> um, our bell pepper plants have been producing a lot. Um, they have had some insects eating on them. I just sprinkled some diatomaceous earth on them and I noticed that that kept them a lot more at bay. Um, I also used that to keep ants away. For some reason, ants were climbing on the bell pepper plants and eating them. Our pole beans are starting to die off from the heat. And honestly, we had way more green beans than we knew what to do with. I need to figure out a preserving method that works for our family for next year. And our herb bed is still going strong. We have had so many jalapeno plants from the jalapeno plants that are in that bed and I've been freezing them and gaming them and we still have tons of jalapenos. We've learned how to eat spicy food this season, that's for sure. One of my goals for next year is to learn how to preserve and use herbs more in my cooking. It's honestly something I'm not super familiar with. I know how to use basil and cilantro and things like that, but not in an everyday way, unless I'm making like spaghetti or salsa. So I really wanna start using herbs more in my cooking next year. There's also a garden spider that I'm trying not to freak out about because I know that they're good for the garden. However, he keeps changing plants where he's located and I just know one of these days he's gonna crawl on me and I'm gonna lose my mind. Also, another thing I realized is I have already blown through our entire onion crop. So next year I want to grow probably twice or triple the amount of onions because I have so enjoyed cooking with onions that I've grown from my garden. I feel like the flavor is so much better. So next year we'll be growing a lot more onions. One of our winter projects that I really want to have completed before our garden next spring is having the gravel and the brick sidewalk in our garden. It got really um, annoying having to walk through grass and we got eat up by mosquitoes and ants and things like that. So I really want the grass that's in our garden gone for the next gardening season so that it feels more manageable. Right now it kind of just feels like I'm in a jungle and it's a little overwhelming to know what to do with all of this. One thing that has been really cool gardening this year has been having a baby while gardening. The metaphors have been endless of seeing her grow and become bigger and seeing our plants grow and become bigger and more mature. Thankfully, she's not worn out from the heat or infested with bugs like the rest of our plants. Um, but it's been a really cool and peaceful place for me in this season of postpartum to kind of get away in the quiet and just garden and it's just been really cool to see my baby grow and my garden grow. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed this peek inside the screen door of a southern homemaker.